monster. Level 4 upgrade. Hey guys, today we have another upgrade for monster. And this comes to us by Coyote0976. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, today we are putting in the RPM front and rear A arms, both in black. Originally I was going to go green, but I think it's going to make it look a little, a little bit less toyish, I guess. Alright, so let's open these bad boys up. And first we got to pull the tap. And we do not have to cut it open. So we can pull out the RPM arms both rear, the stickers, and then the packaging. Alright, and then we can pull out the other one, and this one as well, we do not need to cut it open. So we just pull them out, along with the stickers, again the white ones, and then again the packaging. So there we have the full set. Alright, so first off I'm going to remove the 4mm nut that holds on all four tires. With all four tires removed, we can now move on to the front A arms. Uh, before I continue, I will quickly remove the front bumper and it is held on with four screws. Now, if you have the f the stock bumper, you will also have to remove an added three extra screws here. With the bumper out of the way, we can now get to this kingpin. All we have to do is remove the E-clip and just slide the pin right on out. With the kingpin removed, all that's left is to remove the screw that holds the shock to the A-arm, as well as the screw that holds the caster block to the A-arm. Alright, with those two screws removed, the A-arm comes right on off. Now we can compare it to the new one by RPM. As you guys can see, the RPM one looks a bit less bulky compared to the stock one. Which is kind of uncommon with uh, RPM, but you know what? You cannot beat RPM's plastic. So let's throw this away. Not really. And let's put this inside there. First off, I'm going to take that long kingpin. Put this through here. Slide it through. Put this, put this on and then put the E-clip on. Alright, with the king pin back in place, next we have to take the pin that holds the caster block in place, slide it through, and then as well as the screw that holds the shock in place. And that would go through this hole. Alright, with those all installed, there we go. Alright, with that side done, it is the same procedure on the other side. With both front A arms installed, we can now reinstall the front bumper and it is held on with four screws. Alright, with the bumper back installed, it is time to move on to the rear of the RC. Alright, so before I can move the pin that holds the A arm to the transmission, I'm going to be removing these two screws, one that holds in the axle carrier and the one that holds into the shock. Alright, with those All right, with those two screws removed, the axle carrier and shock come right on off. Now all that's left to do is remove the pin that holds it to the transmission. Before I can do that, I'm going to have to remove this set here that holds the bumper mount to the transmission. Alright, with the pin removed, we can just pull off the A arm and we can set the RC off to the side. Now we can compare the old rear to the new rear. 
As you can see, the RPM one is a lot less bulkier compared to the Traxxas. It's got a lot less support going from corner to corner, but again, it is the RPM plastic. A lot dur more durable and a lot less stiff plastic. So now we can put this off to the side and we can put this in to Monster. First off, we have to make sure this is the right arm. And we will just take it, take the pin we grabbed before, put this into position, and then put the pin, take the pin and put it right through. Alright, with the pin installed, next we have to, can take the axle carrier, put it into position like this, and then feed the pin through. As well as we can take the shock and put it in to one of these four holes. Alright, with those uh, Alright, with those two screws removed, we are now done with this side. And we can easily move on to the other side, which is the exact same procedure. When I'm done with that, all you have to do is put the tires back on and then put the four millimeter hex a nut right on there. Here is before. And there is after, guys. Check it out. Not much of an appearance upgrade. It's kind of hard to tell really all that well. But believe me, I am all. It is going to be a lot nicer than having RPM arms in there. Not only is it going to be a little bit more lighter, but as well, it's going to be a lot stronger. Much better than the stock arms. The only thing really left in the suspension is really those caster blocks, which I have RPM ones as well. But, uh, yes, I want to say thanks a lot, Kyle, for this awesome upgrade. And that was Monsters Level 4 Upgrade.